What's up guys, uh, Team Survival here. Today I will be showing you how to do a two card combo for Dinosaur Thunder Dragons. Um, basically any combination of either Gold Sarcophagus or Allure of Darkness with, um, actually Allure is a little different, um, with either of these cards. So either Armageddon Knight and Gold Sark or Overafter and Gold Sark are going to equal um, a Wee Witch a Overtex and a Colossus and then Allure is a little bit different but um, this card also can be a two card combo depending um, well yeah I'll go for that so you first off with either of these cards we'll just do Overaptor um, but Armageddon Knights is the same thing so you would Gold Sark for your Thunder Dragon Roar Make sure that you guys can see this. Cool. Um, and that is going to special summon out. Yep, your uh, dragon roar. Goes right to the grave. You summon your overaptor, and that is going to send to the graveyard your overtex. That's going to get you your kill. Then you link them away into your Wee Witch. Um, Dragon Dark is going to get you your uh, Dragon Hawk to hand. Then you go ahead and you double pill your uh, Raptor or your Quatlas. Let's do Quatlas in case um, they draw into a Call by the Grave and you don't want your Quatlas to get countered. To special summon the Quatlas and um, Put it over here, just be uh, be careful, never know what you're playing against. Um, so just be mindful of where you place the zones. And always summon your Colossus to the end, whatever side you're building your build on. The end sides, you don't want to do in the middle because that could cause you not to be able to make more extra deck plays later on in the duel. This middle spot's really important, so summon them to the end. Um, and then you get, discard your Dragonhawk to special summon back. Either of your um, Thunder Dragons will do Dragonhawk just because it's stronger and then send that away to make your colossus now with just these two cards you've generated a ton of advantage um there are other cards in the deck that um are just like allure is just the most broken card in the deck like by far so you pot of greed draw two cards and then you get to banish for your effects um this card's absolutely insane and then um if you didn't want to for some reason add um the Thunderbird, you could have added the uh, Fusion and comboed off with that. Um, but yeah, that's a two card combo to get to this board. And typically this is the board you're going to set up in your first turn for this variant. Um, in game one, I would actually summon out Ultimate Conductor Tyranno because you're not going to have a uh, specific card sided in um, for you to, to need to stop. And staring down a Colossus with a Tyranno is actually scarier in game one because you just Book of Moon their monsters and then they end their turn. Um, but in game two, you need to protect the Colossus and that's why you go into the Quadlas. Um, or game three, but you're probably going second. The decks changed slightly from the last video. Um, we have in, instead of a Foolish, a Destrudo. It's just a really good card. Um, I thought about playing a... Uh, instant fusion but i i opted to play that instead and then the other small change uh what was it uh, i can't quite remember from the, the last video oh the extra decks changed a bit uh maybe in the main deck it's just a strudo i could be wrong from the last video um we're playing Wee Witch, we're playing um, Lampalingus, Link Rebo, Phoenix, Unicorn, Bullsword, um, Two Colossus, Thunder Dragon Titan, Lagia, Dolka, uh, Rail Cannon, Chambara, uh, Dawn Dragster, and Black Rose, because these are all really good cards that you can play um, with Destrudo. Um, don't think we need any ex ex explanations. And then the side deck. Has gotten much better from my first uh, video, and in it 
we're playing two Ghost Ball, which I'm thinking about maining. Um, you probably want this for three for the mirror, but I only have two. Don't know where the third rule went. Um, two Timaton for Mech Knight. Um, it's really good against them. Uh, it's really the only thing I have to side for them, but it's just a really good card. It's also good in them. One Super Poly for the mirror, one Medion for the mirror, or Goki. Um, and then three Evenly Matched for the mirror or Goki. Then the free red reboot, because Ultra Grace is really good against just Dinosaur and um, Thunder Dragons. Uh, so this is for them. And we're also playing Imperial Order and two Anti-Spell Fragrances. Um, these could be Lances if you don't have access to these cards. Lance is a good card, because not only does it combo off with your dinosaurs, it also helps prevent you from getting Widow Anchored. Um, it's just actually a pretty good card that no one plays to today's game. Um, but definitely good. Medion is maybe a 3 of in your side deck if you struggle against um, this deck. So if you guys don't know what that card does, basically you attack with it and then you rebalance everything back to the hand and it won't be destroyed by battle. Um, I think during the end phase it also disappears, but it's just like free removal. And then let's go over the other combo. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there for a second. Plotless, all these guys. If you started with a lure with a overaptor and I guess a lure would be more of a three card combo. Um, and your dragon um, roar, it's better than starting with um, gold sark and overaptor because you're gonna actually plus. Um, but gold dark is like you're guaranteed you're gonna get you're guaranteed that combo with just two cards. So um, you allure. I've actually just shuffle this up. You guys can see. All right. Cut. So we draw two. Drew into a pill and a gold dark. Which is really good, um, but we pretend like these aren't even here. It doesn't matter that what these are. So, um, War gets banished. That's going to special summon your Dark. You're going to normal the Overaptor. Send the Quadless. Get a pill. And then you link them away. For Wee Witch, or if you're not going to go um, over text, I would go into Land Falinka, so you just don't reduce the attack of... Actually, no, so go Wee Witch, because you can destroy her with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and you're going to add back a card from your graveyard. Um, but if not, Land Falinka is fine if you don't want to lose the attack boost. Um, you're going to get to search off of Dark. That's going to get you your Thunderbird. And if you, for some reason, don't have access to Thunderbird, you guys... I know these cards are expensive. If you have, if you pull the fusion, then that's totally fine. You can do the fusion. It's just not quite as good. You want that built-in protection on your Colossus, but it's still a really good card. And I know it's really hard to get these cards when these new sets come out, especially in a deck with this much hype. These two are face down. Um, it doesn't matter what we drew, even though they're like really good. We can combo much further with these. So we discard the Dragon Hawk, and that will summon back our uh, Dragon Roar. Use our Double Evolution Pill. And banish our over text and our roar. That's gonna get us the over text. Place it here. Careful of your columns. And then you link away your roar. I'm sorry, you just kind of tribute away your roar to make your Thunder Dragon Colossus and place it over here. Um, so this is really like the board you end up on. I mean, you could instead of a Quatlas, have Big Daddy, all the people from Tyranno, who is just really good. In fact, I think this is one of the most oppressive boards you can put out in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! without like Yu-Gi-Oh! linking, extra linking, uh, stuff like that. Um, Destroy this, and then you're going to get to add back to hand um, your Dragonhawk. 
I'm actually sorry, you're gonna have to add back the dragon roar. You can't summon dragon hawk, add it back, it's light. Um, but you get back your roar. These are from two, three card combos. Um, and when needle fiber comes out, this is like for sure the best variant to play. So not only is it a, more of a budget version for you to play Thunder Dragons right now, but it's an investment for the future because um, Aolo and just like the boards that this deck will be able to put out um, with it is insane. I mean, the utility that the Dinosaur variant has is a lot better than the, the utility of the pure version, but the pure version is pretty consistent. And this version is too, I built it as consistent as could. Um, going first, you even could take out the, the hand traps and just go like, straight going first but i do enjoy them because sometimes um the pill for some reason you might end up having to get rid of it but they're just good cards to have like ashing them when they try to draw um and you have colossus on the field just like well you really cannot add anything to your hand ever um but these are the two card combos i release more later um play out hands but this is just like just this is the, the advantage you can generate with this deck, and it's pretty impressive. Um, the last thing I'll say is compared to the True Kings, it's not as explosive in the first turn, but it lasts longer than the True Kings do. Like, True Kings, basically, you're, if you don't win that first turn, like, if you don't make that board that's just like, fuck, like, VFD, Lagia, Ultimate Conductor, and, like, Decode, and or Summon Sork, and it's like, well, that's just... How am I supposed to play unless I draw a like a, a kaiju? Um, if you don't do that, then your board's not like good enough. And also, if you if they get past that first turn, you're gonna lose a duel because you can't go into the later stages. You just put everything out there, and you've gone through all your your over raptors. You've gone through all the monsters in your deck. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Signing off.